LaShonda Johnson and I graduated from Slippery Rock University spring of 2019. My name is Alyssa George. I graduated in 2018. My name is Emily Hallinan and I graduated from Slippery Rock's Department of Dance in the spring of 2017. Right after I graduated I was fortunate enough to be able to move to Atlanta to work as an apprentice during the residency program under T-Line Dance. I currently live in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm an apprentice for a local dance company called the Cleveland Dance dance project. I am also a freelance dancer and choreographer in the Cleveland area. Directly following graduation, I started my first internship with the American Dance Festival. That experience really prepared me for my next position. For the past three years, I've been teaching dance full-time at the Greer School for Girls. During this residency program, I was able to explore and just learn from her and continue choreographing, which is something that I love. Um, this was sparked during my time at Slippery Rock University. SOU gave me the biggest foundation ever. They helped me grow my resume. They helped me find my teaching abilities. They helped me find the technique that I was missing. They helped me grow. Overall, just was like such a big help and a great base. They just pushed you off to somewhere that you wanted to be. They helped you with any questions that you had. They were just amazing over there and they knew what they wanted to help you with and they knew that they wanted you to get to where you wanted to be. Without the amazing education and background knowledge I had at Slippery Rock that had such a blended induction to multiple different um, styles of dance, I would not remotely have been prepared to walk into this position. I believe the foundation that Sabrod gave me was simply just a space to create my own work. Creating that work is what got me recognized by T-Ling in the first place. It really sparked my love for choreographing, which I'm doing now. So now I am a freelance artist and I'm choreographing my own works and I'm submitting them and I'm able to work with so many beautiful artists in Atlanta. It has opened up so many doors for me. What excites me the most about being a part of this company is being able to continue my training and technique as well as create new movement, movement for myself and others and meeting different choreographers in the area. Some advice that I would give Slippery Rock students before they graduate is really hone in on your own creativity. Don't worry about anyone else, especially to my students of color. Your first steps into the real world might not take you to the places that you planned or expected, but those might be the exact places you need to be. Take as many opportunities that you feel comfortable with. Go for as many auditions that you want, and if you don't make it, it's a class, like you grew from that, you're able to grow from something that helps you in the future. Everyone I have met along the way and every experience I have accumulated, whether it was where I wanted to be at the time or not, was a really important part of getting me to where I am now. You know what you like, you know what you don't like, and even if you feel like you aren't getting the backing or the support or the things that you feel like you may need right now, I promise you. If you stay true to that, someone will recognize it. That was my story. Someone will recognize it, someone will love it, and it'll all be worth it. Grow on the ideas that you have in college, whether it's from a modern final or a comp solo or a DT piece or senior synth research. Go and grow with it. It can take you to so many places. Just continue doing what you feel is best for you. Take criticism, listen to it, 
put it in your heart but at the end of the day do what you feel like is best for you